Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64. We are now in page 3, chapter 3, The Summit. We're going to go into section 1, actually. Cloud Cruising. Hopefully this will be a nice little bomb for our Yoshis to explore. Uh, but admittedly, this is a very tame level, and I do want to emphasize right now that our current lucky fruit is grapes. Of course, the idea is that I'll be trying to go for as many melons as possible, but in, you know, if the case happens that I don't quite find them all, then I will resort to grapes or just whatever my lucky other my lucky fruit happens to be for that particular video. So we're on these little snake or striped worm type creatures, and jumping on them is what's changing their directory between uh, moving up and moving down. But of course, it just keeps alternating every time you jump, so it doesn't matter how long it's been you to jump or how fast you jump. Just every time you jump, that changes the direction of where it's going. Of course, there are going to be plenty of things to explore in this level, and one uh, will be, since I mentioned the name of the level is Cloud Cruising, we're going to definitely be exploring what, what, as we keep going higher and higher into these clouds. So Yoshi here is observing that by using the ground pound, that there are actually a lot of hidden coins scattered throughout this level. So it's actually pretty exciting, all the different things that uh, Yoshi can sniff around and try and find. Again, the coins don't really amount to a whole lot, but they do help in terms of a score. If you are trying to go for a particular high score run, of course you would want to try and collect as many coins as possible, keep as many lives as possible, and of course try and collect all the melons. There's one over there on the left, let's try and grab it, and uh oh, good thing that worm was, or that creature was down there for us to still climb up. Again, admittedly, if you do fall down, it will respawn uh, back at the bottom. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. But you do have to worry still about falling perhaps off a little bit too far. But there is ground on the very, very bottom, at least for this first page. For sure. Uh, I picked up six melons in a row, so that activated our uh, little happy heart. And in fact, there's this whole little uh, tower of coin that has appeared just because we are now super awesome happy. Of course, another thing that we can use is there's something nearby. Let's keep trying to figure it out. So notice that we were able to op burst the bubble without having to shoot any eggs, because, well, one, we don't have any eggs. So since we were, you know, using, utilizing our super, super happy hearts, the thing was that normally when you um, ground pound, any bubbles or shy guys that are in the vicinity will instantly burst or become a fruit. So in this case, the uh, bubble that had the super, ha the large super happy heart for us to pick, uh, that activated, or that burst, and we were able to collect it without even having to shoot an egg at it. Of course, if you wanted to try shooting an egg at it, or if you didn't activate the happy heart, there were plenty of shy guys that you could see, as well as we can use our warp because it was right next to Miss Warp number one. So once we get to Miss Warp number two, we can just easily uh, teleport back to that section. This is an interesting room. You can skip it entirely if you want, or you can uh, pr prepare yourself by grabbing a lot of eggs and then fighting off as many shy guys as you can. Uh, if you don't get them all in the first round, that is perfectly okay. They actually do come back around loop around. So, of course, you might want to try and knock out a few of them anyway, just because there's so many flying right at you. Uh, one, it's a good way for you to practice your egg throwing skills, and then also, uh, you can pick up a lot of fruits if you're just trying to collect fruits. If you're looking for melons, once you uh, clear all of the shy guys out, you actually will get five extra melons. And then here, there's actually a heart inside them that uh, appears once if we are super happy and have collected all of our medals at this point. So we're now going to another page of this section. So this dragon, yeah, he does look a little bit scary, but it's alright. Nothing to, nothing to worry about. He's sleeping right now anyway. Anyway, so there's Miss Warp number two. I would highly recommend you activate Miss Warp number two. Again, if you miss the uh, the bubble back in the back by the first uh, Miss Warp that had the, ha the the happy heart, uh, you can definitely go back at this point. Otherwise, up here in this pipe, there's actually a bunch of little clouds, and it seems as if every single one of these little clouds has coins coming out of it. It's great. Is there anything else inside here besides just these little coins? Well, obviously there's some flowers down there to refill your health. And there are these bees that are flying around as well. Uh, what Yoshi can do is that Yoshi can actually uh, eat the, the bees, and even though he doesn't gain any, regain any energy from it, uh, he can use it as, uh, you know, collect them as eggs for future ammo. 
So he does have that going for him. So, of course, there's one. There we go. I wanted to make sure that we actually found, you know, that we found on every little cloud just to see if we had missed anything. Good thing we didn't. Or good thing we checked everything because we found a super happy heart. So, heading back down here, let's go, uh, let's check out our dragon friend. Indeed, our dragon friend, uh, unlike the other creatures, you know, jumping on him doesn't change his path. This, uh, up and down curvy path that is, that is his current path, that is his default path. So don't worry about trying to time your jumps or anything like that. The shy guys are pretty annoying. If you want, you could use your eggs to, uh, try and clear some of them out. If you can hit that, uh... That panel with your with one of your eggs also, this a little string of clouds will appear and you will be able to climb up it. Again, you have to hit it with an egg in order to activate it. But up in this particular path, there's Miss Warp number three and nothing else. Oh, there's another panel for us to hit. So this is actually a bit of a timed puzzle slash uh, race. Actually, you have to try and climb as high as you can, as fast as you can. Uh, there are a couple of melons along the way. But don't take too much time, otherwise uh, you might lose your lose everything. There are more tiles as you go up as well. It will reset your timer clocks because if the time goes out and you will all these clouds will disappear and you'll fall fall back down to the bottom. That's not good. Uh, so hitting all these guys out and the other good thing is you know Yoshi's already found enough. Uh, melons to activate another little happy heart, mm -hmm. so we ate that, mm -hmm. and in fact up here is the letter associated with it, really quickly, it's an S, so it disappeared because that little happy heart had already worn off, and unfortunately it does not reappear, even though we got our, a second little happy heart, but we got everything up here, there was a giant happy heart for us to collect, so we have all three of the happy hearts for the level, we are really getting close to being done with all, all of the melons, so we just have a little bit further to go. Of course, where is this little pot going to be taking us to? Actually, it's going to take us back to the room with the giant dragon. So you could go ahead and just get back on the dragon, or I would recommend, just to be on the safe side, go back up the pipe and replenish your whole capacity of eggs. Again, you can collect the eggs just by eating the bees. And if you need a health refill, you can use the flowers at this point too. But looking at our stuff here, we only have a couple more... Uh, melons to find, so we are definitely in good shape for trying to clear up this level. Of course, don't forget that after the end of the third level, we actually do have to encounter a mini-boss. So we'll get to that when we see uh, who this particular mini-boss is. Uh, regardless of which uh, stage you take in Chapter 3, you will have to battle a mini-boss, but which mini-boss depends on which section or which stage of Chapter 3 you took. So again, like I mentioned earlier, you, you can shoot down the shy guys if you want. I would recommend not doing it, not, you know, spending too much because there are other bubbles that you have to use, save your eggs for, such as all these hidden ones that actually do have melons inside. Uh, if you want to try and, you know, shoot down a couple of shy guys, that's fine. There are some bees here if you can time your legs so that you can, uh, you know, gain more eggs out of them, but I would, that's why I just recommended getting them all at the beginning, that way you didn't have to worry about it too much. Fortunately here though, there's just one last melon we need, and there it is! So after we collect all of our 30 fruits, regardless of what kind they are, we encounter our mini-boss. Who is our mini-boss in this stage? Why, it's this, um, puffy thing. Cotton candy, slurpity slurp. I'm so sweet you can't lick me. Burp. Don't ever dare Yoshi to, to lick you because even though this is a very hard stage, this is admittedly a very straightforward enemy. Um, again, like I mentioned, don't dare Yoshi to try and lick you because Yoshi will. And then it turns out just eating the enemy actually heals you as well if you do happen to get hit by it. Um, but, I, yeah, you can defeat this boss very quickly. And it does move a little bit faster as you uh, keep slurping it up. But, that this boss is seriously not any challenge at all. However, we defeated the mini boss in chapter 3. And, even better, we found all of the melons! Awesome job, Yoshi! So again, here is the score for people who want to keep track of that thing. Again, depending on the path that you've taken, uh, the score is really not going to make much of a difference. 
but I'm just putting it here just for continuity purposes, I suppose. Anyway, let's go ahead and read a chapter from the storybook. As the Yoshis were walking, they found a trail of clouds that led to the sky. The Yoshis were afraid of falling, but they walked on the clouds anyway. Up in the sky, they met Cloud and Candy, who was mean, but tasted sweet. The page turned, and the Yoshis grew happier. Alright everybody, so we will now be venturing off into uh, page 4, the jungle. So of course, go ahead and make your decision as to which stage you want to follow next. If you guys are just following in the playlist, uh, the next stage will be chosen automatically. Otherwise, use your annotations and pick your next level. Alright, until then, this is Big Max saying, later.